joining us now, Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek. Congresswoman, great to see you. What was your reaction to the president calling Republicans, quote, fiscally demented? Well, that's really rich coming from a guy who takes his orders from the Easter Bunny and can't complete a coherent sentence. Uh, but regardless, we're the ones that are going to get our fiscal house in order because it's clear that he has no interest in being serious about it. The fact that this man in the White House has spent $10 trillion over his first two years in office and wants to balk at us wanting to negotiate about reducing the size and scope of government, give me a break. We're the ones that are serious about getting the economy back on track because I don't know if anybody's noticed recently, but the price of eggs is what people are going to be getting uh, at the grocery store for a long time to come, upwards of $12 a dozen. And I know that they haven't shopped for themselves recently, but people like me and everyday Americans, we're sick and tired of the inflation. We're, we're sick and tired of the welfare state. We want to get our house back in order and Republicans are going to do it. So, it, you know, every Democrat since JFK, uh, even through the Democrat platform, through George W., through Obama, was about cutting spending, cutting taxes, economic growth. It's, it's more, I think it's more like $5 trillion since he took office, $10 trillion since before the pandemic. So, you know, Congressman Byron Donalds is saying we spent $400 million for borders protection in countries in the Middle East, and we're not doing enough for our border. Well, that's exactly it. I mean, our priorities are all over the place and they're completely misaligned with what the American people want and need. When you look just at the numbers, and of course this is cyclical, we go through seasons, but if you go back to 1980, for example, I was born in 1988 as a point of reference, but you look at 1980 to now, our GDP on average, when adjusted for inflation, was about 5.3. Now compare that to our debt since 1980, it's averaging 9% a year. I know I'm a blonde, but even I know that those numbers don't add up. We're spending more than we're taking in. We cannot continue down this path. We've got to get our fiscal house in order. So we need to end the emergency declarations. We need to stop all the COVID spending. We need to address the regulatory environment, the silent killer of the American dream that costs us $2 trillion a year. When you have 1.3 million regulations on the books, somebody's paying for it, and it's you and me and everyone else in everyday America. And we've got to address the mandatory spending. Now, people are okay. panicking because they think that that means Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid. Got it. There's 20% worth of fraud in our mandatory spending. Let's That's start true. There. That's a lot of fraud there. You know, let's listen to the president on how he and the Democrats really do want tens of thousands of new IRS agents and workers. Watch this. You know, all these new IRS agents we have is because they fired a lot of them. And a lot of retiring. And guess what? Who needs serious f agents to know what they're doing and not doing? The billionaires, the multi multi millionaires. How can somebody since the Nix who's been there since the Nixon era not know that the upper classes can afford tax lawyers to fight back against the IRS? and the lower and middle class cannot afford those tax lawyers. The CBO, Congressional Research Service, a joint committee on taxation, already said that what they are doing is going to hit the middle and lower class hard with audits. So what's with the consistent gaslighting here? It's just a losing message that they're, they're trying to promote. It's just like how they said that the Inflation Reduction Act would actually reduce inflation, but even Bernie Sanders said it would expand it. They don't know what they're doing. And that's exactly why Republicans are back in charge of the House, why we will take the Senate and the, House, the White House back in 24. We've got to get this guy who creepily whispers these nonsensical answers out of the White House. And I couldn't have said it better myself, Liz. It doesn't make sense. Congresswoman Kamek, we'll have you back on again soon. It's good to see you.